Vidius continues to trample north while he leaves us in the dust to pick up the pieces. While the wagons of gold returning to Thessalonica certainly don't hurt, we're forced to reinvest into civilizing these savages he wants to rule over so much. Do you know how much we paid simply to tear down those Barbaroi hovels and build fountains in Overtaka? Too much. We could have spent that for some new artwork in the Senate building, or possibly some new chairs for the senators to sit on, but I digress. The largest matter at hand is that we have spread far too thin. Vidius and Decimus have charged North with little thought of public order, and rebellions are growing fast in the provinces. We require martial force at once to put them down. Vinicius, is your legion ready to march? <clears throat> Not as yet, Senator, but I can assure you that we will be finished with training shortly and be ready to march soon. We will make sure that we crush rebellion before it is allowed to start. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Roma Rest and if you're wondering why I'm talking so quickly, well, because in approximately 24 seconds we are going to be thrown into the midst of an epic battle at the city of Cyprus. It's technically not called Cyprus, but that's what I'm calling it because I can't remember the name. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be a really quick naval battle, and I think we're going to win because we are just that good. We might be outnumbered, but we're great. Welcome back to the episode. Let's check I'm doing everything right. Okay, right, you can go here. The best defense position, but it's best I can do. And cavalry, where do I want to put you? I can probably stick you. Here we go, indeed. Okay. Right. So the basic plan is to they can't come from me this way. So uh, I'll start the battle. They can't really come unless we go all the way around here, which I don't think they will. I'm gonna move the archers over here. Wrong so ship, idiots! Might... Oh my god, one of their ships is already gone. Oh shit! Nice. Yeah, I mean that's the power of the artillery ship. When it yeah. actually hits the target you want, I wanted them to hit the general. They did not hit the general. Yeah. <laughs> I just killed another ship. I, I forget how powerful those uh, ballistic things Come are. on, hurry up. We need to get these things right, Now the cavalry. Okay, Rapid reload onto their general. Way. Rapid reload onto their general, boys. Another ship down. Come on, boys. Right, if you can get a good, decent shot on them, that would be fantastic. I genuinely think they're not going to land. <laughs> I, I, I've i taken out oh. another ship. Nice. Yeah, no, their entire army oh, the is the general's just... dead. Fantastic. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> Have you seen what <laughs> I've done to them over to here? Army. Yeah. <laughs> they're down to two ships. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Come on, boys. I didn't think they'd be so effective. Faster. <laughs> Reload. I'll hold my ground here again. See, I mean, I'm, again... Uh, units in this game are not bothered if we lose them. Oh my god, that one's shattered. No way. That's fantastic. They have no general. What are they yeah, to do? That's why. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, fuck. I forgot to... Ball okay, no. Two of them might land because they're... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Come on. Yeah. Perfect. Right, they're down to what. one ship. Come on. One more. Right, if I, you guys can come around here. One more shot and it's down, boys. There is a army coming, still escaping. I'm pretty sure you can handle them. Uh, I don't know if I'll catch them. I'm trying, no. but if it, I'm leaving my trips. I mean, if you come around. <laughs> they're going to just die on content. Oh, 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 oh! Come on, hit! Ooh. No! Oh, that was close. Oh wait, there's another. There's another. The there's another. There's another. Yeah, nice, they're, nice, they're nice. dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> I have killed. Uh, all it's just of the last of this um cavalry. Oh no, not the archers. Stop that. And they're gone. Yep, they're dead. <laughs> ah, beautiful. <laughs> Successful naval battle. Yep. And the battle there. Good. And ramming speed. Alright everyone, sorry about that quick battle. As you know, I had to talk fast, so we didn't have a lot to converse about. But, we are back into my turn with a worthy bride. As you saw from that battle, Navy is OP, which is why I like playing Attila Naval Battles, which is kind of an unpopular opinion, but I actually enjoy them. Uh, now I'm checking at my family tree, and I realized that my middle child actually isn't my heir, so my eldest wasn't my heir for some reason, but my youngest also wasn't my heir, so there was no real thing at all, so I just kind of put it to my eldest because he's got a cooler name. And uh, yeah, so that's the reason I did that, and uh, oh yeah, that's great. but. We're now having to reinvest pretty much everything that we take into rebuilding these provinces, 
And that's only going to get worse because we go crazy this episode. And when I say crazy, I mean crazy. You guys are going to see it later on in the video, but we just start conquering massive swaths of land and we just drive north. But I am almost finished with my third legion down here and my ships are kind of being repaired. I can actually retrain these guys, so that's a nice new level for my ships. Uh, but I don't think my navy is going to play that big of a role in the upcoming episodes and probably not in this video for sure. Uh, because honestly, I'm kind of done with the fleets. I'm more of a land-based empire and I'm not really fighting anyone in the Mediterranean right now. So my fleet's kind of irrelevant. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just looking around trying to see what I can build. Uh, I pretty much have to put all of my money into these new provinces because one, they're poor. Uh, they're going to be without food and they are barbarian culture, which means I need to like get that out now. <laughs> Because uh, it's not great uh, when you have cultural issues that can lead to rebellions. Uh, I am going to attack up here. I believe this is Sisia or Sisica or however you want to say it. Uh, but there's probably a correct way that I can't see right now. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to auto-resolve this because I've got two legions here. And my two legions at full strength are more than a match for their legion and a half, legion and a garrison army. Anyway, it's a pretty easy auto-resolve and wasn't much of a challenge. Uh, there are going to be a lot of auto-resolves in this episode, but there's also some good battles. It's a pretty action-packed one, so I think you'll be excited as we continue on. But yes, we have finally taken the province of Dalmatia, and uh, that's pretty good. Or is it Illyricum? I never know. I, I always forget the uh, names. But as you can see, we can actually go a little further north, and we can attack this city. And uh, of course I'm going to do that because I'm at war with Illyricum, so I'm just going to go straight up take the city like why not i mean hey it's a new province uh and yeah i i have some plans for what i want my borders to be before i hunker down and uh think about my next move so we will be working to establish his borders as you can see up there they actually have an army after we took that city and uh spoiler alert we're going to be fighting that army in the next like three minutes so uh get ready for that I'm just going to quickly assign some skills to uh, macedonia legio one and if you're unfamiliar with my legion naming system, uh, every time a legion distinguishes itself in a theater of war, or it carries it, uh, they are given the legion name. So they start out with the base Attila names, which is like, you know, the, the warriors of the west, or the dragons of fire, or something, the dragons of fire. Interesting, interesting naming. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so I have a legion naming system where after they distinguish themselves in a theater of combat, they are gifted the name of that theater of combat. So that is why we have, um... Legio 2 Corinthia and Legio 1 Macedonia. And there's pretty self explanatory. But our new legion, our third legion, will have to make a name for itself, and uh, you'll all see what name that's going to be pretty soon. Back over here, uh, I'm just going to quickly do some governor skills for Lucius Varus, the governor of Macedon. And as you can see, we are now under attack by that army uh, that I was talking about earlier. And I'm not sure why they did this. The uh, battle power was not in their favor. Um, their units are horrible, their comatitans is spears, and I have a, a legion. I'm not quite sure what they were thinking, but you know what, I don't really question the AI because I figure that if I keep questioning the Total War AI, then it's just going to hurt my head. So as we wait for Frozen to click spectate, well, he did. So let's get into the battle. I've got a plan. See, I'm playing this defensive, which is not yeah. fair to the AI, but they did attack <laughs> no. me, so. No, I mean, it's pretty decent. It yeah, it's uh, spearman. it's not the best army I've got. So that's, that's a series that reminds me. I think it'd be fun. Is if we did like the Huns, like the one of us plays the White Huns and he plays like the that um, could Huns. be interesting. Yeah. yeah, you hear all of our cavalry. I think for a next multiplayer thing, I'll probably do it upon my server. I think, and I'm uh, free uh, suge yeah. suggesting that be like, yeah. I want my oh yeah, I'm gonna cap. Hang on, have you moved? Uh, uh, just move them out of the city for the <laughs> moment. Move them out of the city yeah. for the moment, so that way you can just charge him in the back. And, uh, we'll just let them come. Alright, I'm gonna move my cav out of the city. I'm just trying to flank around them if I can. But, uh, this is the basic defense, isn't it? Yeah. Spearman and the, uh, swordsman inside. Like general's bodyguard in there. That's pretty, that, that could definitely hold. Oh, I'm not worried about holding. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is their pikemen. Pikes are, uh... We got, um, Brian on. I and am pikes to... are coming. Oh wait, no no no, we've got missiles on their pikes. Uh that's good, that's good. Kill their Germanic pikes. 
Oh yeah, good. Trying... They've got no armor, so I'm just kind of like hitting them with my missiles. It's a little difficult to charge them in here, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a problem with cabin silence, it's just not, not really good. Oh, yeah, it is an unfortunate problem. As you can... Oh, I'm oh, just melting them on my barricades. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're gonna take it down, though. Because there's just so many of them. But yeah, I've got enough. I've around. got enough troops to fill in the gaps. Actually, they might not. Rounds. They might not. Yeah. I am. Oh, they broke it. But there's like three of them left. On the car around here, and someone get my cap to start shooting. All right, let's not make it too All right, fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowing it down. Uh, the fact that the AI can't figure out how to use cap very properly. The AI is. Uh... A little That's special. That's a lot of people in there, Christ. Alright. Oh, oh, Found oh. some good charges. They've got mercenary Germanic uh, skirmishers. No. They're charging my spearmen head on. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, are they? Yes. Wow, they've charged my spearmen head on. Alright. What an intense... Here come the cavalry enforcements. Nice. I did cycle charge earlier and that actually worked out. Yeah, I am surprised it by that. It's just random. No, it's it's not. I think you just got lucky, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm gonna pull out of this one. And you just lost seven guys pulling out. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Don't cycle. Alright, fine. <laughs> I won't cycle with us. This is your break, them. If you just charge in, just leave your guys in. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's fine. I'll, I'd rather take the losses from, you know, them getting kills than dying yeah. while running. I am gonna pull these uh, Legionnaires down here. To assist in breaking the main blob. Hit that pike unit if I can. Alright, right, if you guys can go here, no, like this, you should be able to get some shots of them. And hit them in the back there. There's a unit Crap. flank. You've you almost been that, recording probably. for like 30 minutes or something. Really? <laughs> yeah, something like that. When they recorded for like 15 minutes. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> good that you know the time better than I do. Yeah. I'm gonna try and charge the back of these pikes, and hopefully it works. Yeah, I was about to charge the front of them with my uh, infantry yeah. and throw some jabs. Yeah. Do some sacrifices. Right, well, I figured they'll be uh, weak enough. That's pretty good. That's a decent charge. Yeah, that was a decent charge. Don't um, break in a second. Yeah. Alright, right, they're finished shooting. Now get ready for all of your cab to charge. I'm gonna pull you guys back. Actually, if I can, come around here and deal with, um... I'll just charge them, that'd be great. I still with them. Actually, you got that covered. I'm gonna come around and deal with the spearman that's close to breaking. Yep. and then... Then it shall be over. <laughs> then you go. will encircle them. I'm gonna try and hit that Charge the there. other cab. Yep. Let's get a full surround. And they will perish. Yep. Yeah, they're already starting to waver. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yep. it's it's victory it's short, definitely. Yeah. I, when, I, when I saw it was a defensive battle, I was like, yeah, we're going to win. Yeah. Where we're losing I mean, I didn't think we were going to lose, but you know how auto resolves can be. There was that one where we, that should have been, you know, the the easiest victory in the oh, world, yeah. and we lost <laughs> that. That was stupid. Cut that, that out. Ridiculous. Nobody knows about that. Now they do. Um, oh, yeah. Now they all know. All right. Let's just oh, keep pushing. Right, yeah, in. victory is done. <laughs> yeah, I want you it, to run these over. guys down. All right, I think uh, right. it's good. Yeah, we're good. We've killed enough. Size of victory. I've got another achievement. What was that? Uh, fight and win the siege battle. Damn it, the seven anyway. Okay. Enough. Fight and win a siege battle where the That's the victory is done for us. Uh, we've got rid of them. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, Claire's opens your path over to. Uh... Ah, my boy. Do you understand why we do this? It is not merely for wealth and fame, no. It's for power, and it's for the Hellenic people. Our culture shaped that of Rome, and we are the pinnacle of high society. It is our divine mission to civilize these who are without civility and teach them to become as we are. We are power, and we are civilization. Never forget that, and one day you may even surpass me. So, yeah, as I was talking about, that was not a hard battle at all. I don't 
quite understand what the AI was getting at. But if the AI wants to do that, the AI can do that. Anyway, uh, the Gepids backstabbed me after I vassalized them, so I'm just going to come siege Sirmium. And if you might notice, there's something a little traumatizing around, and that would be the two Hunnic armies. Or I guess you can only see one right now, but there are two. And uh, because of the Gepids' betrayal, I am going to dispatch the new legion under Anisius up to Romula to hopefully reclaim our vassal. And then we can decide what to do from then on. Now, uh, we are just taking a look at the stuff. Uh, again, we need to convert these towns, so a lot of money being spent uh, back up in the north. We're just reinvesting. I mean, if we can get these areas leveled up, they will be pretty nice. So, that's good. They can be good money makers. We just have to actually get them developed. We have to get them Hellenized, and we have to pretty much just get them into an area where they start looking like our land. Because uh, in the south right now, which is our economic base, uh, we're very wealthy. We've got lots of public order, and I am actually about to attack the Quadians here in this city. Again, I went pretty crazy on the conquests, and you haven't even seen part of it, because I go a lot farther north and a lot farther east. But yes, we're going to take this city pretty easily. Uh, it's not like they really had much of a garrison, and I'm going to just occupy that. And uh, that pretty much sums up my conquests for the turn. Taking a look at my empire, as you can see, we are uh, over Dalmatia, and we've almost taken all of Pannonia, too, which would give us uh, a second province out of this. And that's all nice. Uh, not much is happening over at Frozen Stag, if you're wondering what he's up to. Uh, if you haven't watched his episodes, pretty much he is just sitting around building up not much for him to do. He's preparing for finishing off the East Roman Empire, which I believe happens towards the end of this episode or at the start of the next one. We have, of course, recorded ahead, but uh, that's not very important. You know they're on. You already know they're on their last legs. So he's just building up and preparing for war with the Sassanids, and uh, that's coming. <laughs> like uh, you'd you'd have to be pretty foolish to believe that he was going to get out of the Sassanids unscathed. So we'll be seeing that war with him, and that's going to be pretty interesting. So. There's going to be some interest in the east. As you can see, the province of Macedonia is still around. Not sure why, but they're just kind of out here vibing in their boats. I'm not one to harsh on a man's vibe, so I'm going to let them. I'm trying to get some trade routes and diplomacy up. Uh, the province of Africa has completely fallen apart for the Romans, just like Italy has. Uh, if, again, if I didn't make it clear last episode, northern Italy has been completely destroyed by uh, the Suebi. Uh, the south is owned by a lot of rebels. Rome got sieged in this episode, and it gets sieged in the next episode, uh, which we just recorded today. It didn't get taken, so I don't know if the siege is over, but I'm very surprised that the Romans are holding out. Uh, back over here in Sirmium, I'm kind of judging if I want to auto-resolve this. It's a city, but I think I can probably squeak by, so I am just going to go ahead and hit the auto-resolve on that. Hopefully nothing too big happens. <laughs> please, please game. But yeah, it's, a, it's an easy victory. But yeah, so we have taken Sirmium, and the Huns are looting. Uh, I hope they don't continue to do that, but I know that in my heart of hearts, they're going to. And this brings up another issue. Uh, these barbarian kingdoms up here were not really exercising strong borders. Uh, so to say, there are a lot of wandering tribes, armies, and just dissidents moving around in this area. And that's going to be a common theme, and that actually hurts me a lot in the next episode because I'm getting constantly raided. I'm trying to kick them out. Because after after all the conquests, I just gotta sit back, and I gotta think, I have to consolidate. But that's not this episode. Back up to Romula. It's gonna be a pretty simple auto resolve, and this is gonna be an this is gonna be a an epiphany. Not an epiphany, but more of a a decision I need to make. Because at this point, they've backstabbed me once, right? What am I going to do? Am I going to just resubjugate them? No. I'm going to occupy. Because you know what I've decided? I want Romania. I figure that my borders are going to be easier to protect if I own all of Romania. And I guess technically at this time it would still be called Dacia. I've called it Romania because I like this. I like Romania. It's a cool name. Uh, and it sounds like Rome. But uh, yes, so we are going to actually invade Romania. And uh, right now... We're just trying to get Romula up to shape and up to scratch. Because again, man, it's barbarian. And I gotta tear down those Christian shrines, man. Greco-Roman paganism only. Represent. Uh, now the Quadians actually came south again, and they took that city that I took last episode, last turn. And because it has no garrison, because it was not my culture. So unfortunately, I don't still own that, but that should be a pretty easy retake. And we are going to go up and beat the crap out of the Quadians. 
if you've ever played the Western Roman Empire in this game, you'll understand that the Quadians are the worst kind of people. Uh, they're horrible. I hate them. I don't like the Quadians. And uh, they just made me really annoyed. So, again, waiting for Frozen Stag to click these buttons. I swear the man said that he was going to do his best to, you know, click them a little faster. But what the heck, bro? What the heck, man? He's not doing it. The Frozen Stag just ain't doing it. How long are we going to wait for Frozen Stag? Who knows? Play the game. Uh, write in the comments down below how long we're going to wait for Frozen Stag. And if you've been timing it, write down how long we did wait for Frozen Stag. Because at this rate, it's kind of getting out of hand. It's like that meme from Star Wars where there are too many of them, it's getting out of hand, but it's talking about the seconds that it's taking, and time of my life. There's too much seconds. Too many. But finally, easy auto resolve. I think we lost like 30 guys. Like genuinely, <laughs> not worth the effort. I think Frozen probably went to go get some water. But uh, yeah, we're going back over to this city, and we're just going to hit the auto resolve again. Your man's on the warpath. I ain't never gonna stop. I ain't never gonna stop. And we're just gonna kill them. Uh, but that's pretty easy. Take back the city. But we're not done. Like I said, we're not done with these guys. How dare they think that we are just going to sit by and let them take us out because we aggressed on their allies. How very dare they. That is wrong and illegal and mean. And I don't like it. And I want to tell them to stop. And if they don't listen, well, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. And that piece of my mind is the destruction of their homeland and people. Yes, sir, I will kill them all. But right now I have to work on some uh, stats and just some skills and min-max my characters, make sure everybody's feeling good, you know. Maybe add some retinue, give someone a household item. You know, hey, who doesn't want a bracer or a shirt or something like that? Yeah, totally cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, man. Some of these things are like the most mundane crap, and they give really OP bonuses, like plus four public order, and it's like a bard. Like, I mean, I guess, I guess music makes people happy, but uh, you know, if I'm being oppressed by some brutal autocracy that doesn't even like really govern me from where they are, I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna hear some pretty music and be like, oh no, no, it's fine. Please, j j please occupy. J here, take my children. Go, go make some elite soldiers with my kids. Go make them Roman senators or Greek senators, if that. But yeah, it, it, it's cool. And I'm just kind of destroying buildings wherever I feel like it because the food situation can get a little worrying up here, especially as we get closer to the climate change eras. Uh, we're going to start running out of food because we're in the areas that get hit really hard. Uh, not the far north, of course, that gets hit the hardest, but we're still in areas that we can get pretty hard because eventually it gets all the way down to Anatolia with the ice and snow. So, uh, yeah, that's not exactly fun. Just gonna end the turn. But even as the world turns, and uh, so does our game's turn, uh, there will be no peace to the barbarians of Romania. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep going north, uh, you bet. I am going to actually go to war with these Antian Separatists. I was talking about them last episode and how I was kind of impressed that a Separatist faction came to uh, dominate so much of Romania. I, I am still quite impressed with them. It's gonna be sad. It's like, uh, it's like raising a dog, except you didn't actually do the raising. Uh, you only looked at the dog once, and then you decided to shoot it, because it was in your way. And that's the best uh, analogy I can come up with. But first we're going to deal with these uh, Gepid Rebels. They are scum and must be put to the sword. And the sword we shall put them to, because we're killing them. And that's what you do with people that you don't like. You kill them. See? Simple as, simple as. <laughs> That's a bad impression, man. That was just bad. But yeah, we killed them. Congrats. Now there's two Hunnic armies. And, uh, holy crap. What he doing? Why Decimus going so far north? Another Hunnic army, might I add. But yes, we have arrived at the homeland of, uh, the Quadians. And I hate Quadians. My grandfather hated Quadians. Even before they put his eyes out. And we're going to completely destroy the city. <laughs> I don't want anything living in that region no 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 i don't want anything living in that area but i noticed they're not dead because they've actually gone up to kersurgis where they have uh owned a city so i'm like you know what you'll see next turn yeah, my next turn i'm going all the way to kersurgis and also by the way i'm going to war with these romanian guys lol peace but yeah i'm gonna take Daki over 
And uh, now we wait for Frozen Stag to click the accept button. Why Frozen taking so slow? Why he brain no work? Perhaps him have brain deficiency. Someone should get him brain checked out. And see, the funny part is I'm about to get some DMs, like, after this goes up. Uh, a couple hours after this goes up. Like, uh, hey man, uh, your joke was quite funny. Yeah, quite humorous, but uh, can you please stop making fun of me, not clicking the buttons? And I'm going to say yes, and then uh, I'm going to do it anyway. That's a joke. Frozen doesn't actually care. It's all in good fun. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But yeah, we are going to take that. It's actually a walled city, so it's going to be a bit of a siege. Not a real issue. I doubt they have much of a military force, so I am unconcerned as to the status of them trying to like beat the crap out of me. I, I just don't think it's going to happen. We're going to keep upgrading some things, and I'm taking a look at these victory conditions. N not a problem. I think there was a mission as well. I'm kind of lazy. I don't really do the missions in Attila. They just don't have value. Like in Medieval 2, the missions were great. You know, you'd get units, money, all sorts of things from this mysterious council that's somehow bankrolling you and raising units. I, I would assume it's the council of the, uh, you know, the king, the kingdom's council. It still doesn't make that much sense. When I was a lot younger playing Medieval 2, I thought it was some, like, shadow council ruling over the world from, like, it's like the Illuminati. The, the shadow council ruling over the world. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, pretty easy auto resolve. We're going to take the city pretty nice and easy. Nothing is swift. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I can say. Kind of run out of things to say after you've been going on a rampage and auto-resolving your way to victory the entire time. Uh, but there are more people there. The Yazages, And they're raiding, too. So now everybody's raiding me, and I'm losing money, and I'm losing food, and everyone's starving, and I'm having to pour all of my cash in... I'm having to empty my coffers into these barbarian territories rather than upgrading my homeland, and it's all getting to be too much. What will the Senate do without their new chairs? I know, it's a tragedy, but uh, I think they'll live. I, I really do. Got some more skills to assign. Uh, as per usual, get the public order ones, and then if it's a governor, you want to go for the uh, corruption. That's pretty much how it rolls, and then we've got some integrity things, and we're just going to throw those out, public order, pretty much. And here we are, Anisius himself going over to the great city of Petrodava, and they actually have an army. Oh no, what am I going to do? And even auto-resolve. No, 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 I'm just going to siege the city, and I'll see what they do. Uh, I am going to pretty much take Virius, and Virius will come back us up after we clear these rebels out. Not a big deal. Pretty easy, like I said, the rebellions are a nuisance. They aren't really a threat. Not much can come out of them, they're just in my way and they're causing me to get slowed down because Frozen Stag, this guy, this man takes ages to click the button, but he does it and when he clicks that button, it is the most refreshing feeling ever. You have not lived until Frozen Stag has clicked the auto resolve and or the spectate button. <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be a pretty easy auto resolve, and we're just going to move over to back myself up at Petrodava. Uh, Decimus up here, his legion's already taken some damage, but that isn't going to stop him, or more or less it's not going to stop me, because I have no care in the world for those miniature lives that I am throwing to the slaughterhouse. And I'm just going to upgrade some stuff. Again, nothing big. Gotta convert cities, but I don't have the tech, so I'm just going to demolish their stuff and build my things over it, because my things are better and clearly superior in all forms. And I'm going to convert that city. But yes, I, I'm kind of floundering around. I, this poor fool, what is he doing? Is he trying to make peace with people? Who even knows what this guy does? Who even knows what Mythic was doing? I don't. Dude, I, I have to live with this guy. He has no idea. He can't make his mind up about anything. But finally, he is going to send Virius over to back himself up. But wait. Oh, he's in Force Marched. What a big brain. What a genius. Wow. Force marched. Ooh, who could have thought of that? It took him ages to figure it out, so. Uh, over here up at Kersurgis, uh, it's not gonna be hard. It's just, we're just gonna auto resolve it. It's gonna take some losses, but they're acceptable casualties for the glory of Greece and the, uh, v Virius F Flavianus, whatever his name is, dynasty. Yeah, and we're gonna subjugate the crap out of them. This is gonna bite me back later. I don't know that for a fact, but I can just feel it because it almost always does with the Quadians because they are backstabbing horrible people. But I also don't want to own Germany and I don't want to just burn them out because in Attila, keeping factions alive is a lot more fun than killing them off. That's just how the game is because it's dynamic. So anyway, we get Virius over here to the city of Petrodava and um, unfortunately, 
as you're, you will about to see, we have one of our first issues. Uh, we have a desync, and uh, that's the reason we had to end our o old Attila series, which Frozen informed me was deleted. But yes, we unfortunately had a desync in the game. This is not the end of Roma Restuat. This is not the end of Roma Restuat. So, you know, uh, a big issue, but we're going to call it quits for recording today. Trust me, it'll be fixed next episode. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and Mythic out. Patriot heart.